Mike Tyson, perhaps the most famous boxer from the 80s. In the 90s, experienced not the best period of his career. Compilers of all possible rankings of boxing fame consider Tyson the best fighter after Muhammad Ali. And it's true, in the 80s, Iron Mike was invincible. He smashed all his opponents to pieces. But in the 90s, his career took an unexpected turn. At the height of his fame, he began to abuse alcohol, differ aggressive behavior. In 1988, he fires coach Kevin Rooney, with whom he had successfully worked before. These steps led to the fact that in 1990, he suffers a sensational defeat from Baxter Douglas. Next was rape, and in 1995, Tyson returned to the ring. Specialists note that after his return, Tyson's style changed significantly. He moved away from his famous pickaboo style. Now he preferred the counterattacking style of Rusher, betting on a powerful counterpunch. The stamina of the famous boxer also decreased. It was no longer the same fighter. Evander Holyfield is also a famous boxer. The owner of all kinds of titles in the light heavyweight division. In this fight, he was not considered a favorite. Old, health problems, no one believed in his victory. In 1995, after his return, Tyson experienced a period of renaissance. Finally, on November 9, 1996, the long-awaited Tyson Holyfield fight took place at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. The bookmaker's favorite was Tyson. Bets on the fight were taken at a rate of 22 to 1. Before that, Tyson regained the championship title. This will be the first fight in which he defends it. Early in the first round, Tyson tried to aggressively work through his opponent's defenses. Holyfield is working from the defense. He stops Mike's attacks and tries to counterattack. Yes, he sees the punches, but often he just doesn't have time to duck and defends with setups. Tyson uses his classic techniques, double left, right straight, left hook on the bounce. Evander stops with a stand-up and tries to answer with a right uppercut, after which he knits his opponent. His competent defense should be noted. All of Iron Mike's attacks hit the air or gloves. In one of the counterattacks, Holyfield lands a successful left hook to Mike's ribs. In general, in the first round, Mike demonstrates excellent physical form. Round two, Tyson continues to attack, often trying to land a powerful knockout punch, but Holyfield will not be able to do that. Tyson tries to swing his famous pendulum and catch his opponent in a mistake, but to no avail. Having withstood the onslaught, at the end of the second round, Evander tries to take the initiative, and Mike's jaw comes a tangible left hook, after which Tyson begins to knit his opponent's hands. Another series of punches from Holyfield in close combat reach the target. The third round begins Holyfield from the first seconds of the fight, and he goes on the attack. Mike tries to seize the initiative, but without much result. Almost every attack of one of his opponents ends in a clinch, after which the referee is forced to separate the sides. Holyfield demonstrates the best technique. He prevents Tyson from applying crowns, knots his hands, and draws him into the fight, with the aim of undermining the opponent's stamina. From the start of the fourth round, Holyfield is sticky with Tyson. Holyfield's takedowns alternate with series of takedowns. One time Evander knits Mike's hands, and the next time he conducts a series. It's a tactic that works. Yeah. 
At the beginning of the fifth round, Tyson changes tactics. Now he focuses on the opponent's body. It seems that he was advised to do so by his coach during the break. On one of Holyfield's attacks, Tyson manages to land a short left hook and stun his opponent. Overall, the round is similar to the previous round. Holyfield knits Tyson up. Mike, on the other hand, tries to settle the matter with one punch, investing in every move. Tyson plants himself and hits either a body kick or a cross over the arm. You can see that Holyfield is getting tired. Round 6, Holyfield starts with a proven tactic. He ties up Tyson's arms, trying to wear him down. Tyson attacks from the clinch with his favorite combination, hook to the body, hook to the head. Tyson throws a right cross over his opponent's left arm. Fantastic! Tyson is knocked out. After a sprawling left hook from Tyson, Evander takes a dive and hits a left uppercut to the chin. After a missed punch, Tyson is already hanging onto his opponent. Holyfield goes on the attack. The end of the round stops the beating. At the end of the seventh round, Holyfield threw a successful counterpunch, after which Tyson, as in the previous round, hung on his opponent. It seems that by the sixth round, Evander had figured out his opponent's tactics. If at the beginning of the fight, he didn't have time to react to Mike's lightning-fast attacks, now he manages to move away in time, doing it in an uncomfortable angle for his opponent. And in general, Holyfield uses a proven tactic, knit his opponent's hands, provoking him to the fight. When Mike enters the rhythm, Holyfield suddenly explodes in a lightning attack. A head kick. It looks like Holyfield is deliberately cutting Tyson, for which he receives a warning from the referee. During Tyson's attack, Holyfield intentionally lowered his head to injure his opponent. This is the second dissection of the fight. Round 8. Tyson is coming forward, trying to overwhelm his opponent. He uses simple combinations. Holyfield understands this tactic and successfully counters it by going for the clinch, avoiding the exchange of punches. This simple tactic gets him points. In the middle of the round, Tyson throws several successful combinations that hit the target. But Iron Mike's punches don't work on Evander. Meanwhile, Evander is successfully counterpunching. Short bursts of strike alternate with tight grappling. It seems that Tyson is no longer the same. The king is dead. Ninth round. Tyson looks pale in this fight, and Holyfield doesn't shine either. His defense includes rough takedowns, which alternate with anticipatory counterattacks. One of Tyson's few successes is when he countered Holyfield's attack with a straight right. Evander immediately ties his hands, preventing him from realizing the advantage. Tyson loses on points, only to be saved by a knockout. Meanwhile, Holyfield is getting active in the clinch. He's working the cross, uppercut hook combinations perfectly, not yielding to Tyson at his favorite distance. In the 10th round, the pattern of the fight was the same. Even in the middle of the fight, the coach advised Tyson to start the attack with the body. But for some reason, Mike quickly forgot the coach's instructions. Tyson misses punches time after time, and Holyfield is clearly encouraged by the result, his right smash between the gloves staggering Tyson. Before that, Mike misses a series of sidekicks and tries to counter with a right. Evander meets him with a short right between the gloves. He takes this action with a ducking jab. Nice counterpunch. He follows up with a series of glancing punches. Tyson flies back to the ropes where he tries to go into a blind defense, but his hands are half cocked. A couple of punches get in. The bell saves the still reigning champion. Holyfield was too close, the short distance preventing him from landing an accented punch. Perhaps so helpless, so close to losing, Mike has never been before. 11th round. Tyson still looks shaken. He hasn't fully recovered during the break. 
Holyfield sees that and goes on the attack. Several series of punches fly at Tyson's head, and he misses about 10 punches in total. Holyfield throws punches accurately. Tyson almost runs back to the ropes. The referee stops the fight. It's a sensation. A well-deserved technical knockout victory for Holyfield. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave your comments, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next fights.